As Indiana State prepares for its final two home games of the season, they welcome in Youngstown State this weekend. A Penguin crew losing four straight games. But both Sycamore coordinators understand this isn't your typical three and five college football team. What I found in this conference, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, you can't look at that because they're all good. They're all good. I mean, but that's why five or six teams are going to get into the playoffs because of how good this conference is. The football it's played, you know, the, the level of consistency week in and week out that you have to have and, and the depth that you have to have. Um, you know, I mean, just, you know, we're just looking back at us and when you think about us, you know, the amount of players that have had to play because the physicalness of this conference and the type of football that's played here, you have to have depth and you don't, if you don't have depth, you know, you're going to be, you're going to be left in a position uh, that's, you know, you don't want to be in and that's kind of where we are. Uh, it is, as you go down the stretch, the, the, the teams that are the healthiest are the teams that, you know, I don't want to say play the best, but more breaks do go their way or and, and I think that you know they've dealt with some some injuries and some guys being banged up and in and out of the lineup and uh, like you said have played some really good football teams and and maybe are a play away here or there you know they've got a, a tough one uh, you know up at South Dakota the week, the week before we go there they've got a you know they come back home and it's North Dakota State in overtime and I mean it's just those are some really good football teams that that like you said they're they're a play away from from knock, knocking those guys off this Saturday, there are questions on who will be the signal caller for Youngstown State and Bo Pelini's squad. But there will never be any questions about how Coach Pelini's teams will play on the defensive side. Growing up in the state of Ohio, I, I heard Coach Pelini speak at a clinic a long time ago as a high school coach, and I believe he was a defensive coordinator at LSU at the time. And, um, and, I, and I just thought watching you know listening to him and could tell how passionate he was about what he was doing and um and, and then watching his teams play they reflected that you know and, and I, I just told myself that man you know that's that's a guy that i've got a tremendous amount of respect for because i see the passion that he coaches with and and obviously you watch him play and they're very sound and and uh and their kids play hard and physical they're fast they hit you know and his his coverage screen is his coverage schemes are a lot different than um you know what you normally see and they get right up in you and they're going to play hard and physical and they're going to play fast. They've always done that. They definitely reflect uh, their coach uh, on the field and you can see that. Offensively for Indiana State this season, missed opportunities wasn't just the theme on Saturday in Springfield. It has been the storyline all year long in the eyes of offensive coordinator Jeff Eklinski. It's It's been the story of our season. You know, other than Liberty, Liberty we connected on everything. And, and, Every other game that we've played in are, are all the near misses, and that's where we are. I mean, that's why I kind of say we are what we are because, you know, that's why we're in the position we are offensively. It's not that they're not doing the right thing. I mean, bad football is when guys aren't where they're supposed to be. We turn guys loose. We cut guys free. You know, the routes are being run wrong. Guys are throwing to the wrong guys. That's not happening. And so now it comes down to an execution part of the actual physical part of doing it, and that's where we lack. For the Indiana State defense this weekend, working on eye discipline and limiting big-time plays from the opposition, the main point of emphasis for defensive coordinator Brad Wilson. It's just a continued emphasis. I think that for the most part, um, our guys have continued to give us what we've emphasized and give us what's been demanded. And, and I think that as long as you continue to demand certain things and emphasize certain things, and it might be day one stuff, and those are the things that you can't ever forget. You, you can't ever forget about just the fundamentals and, and the overall techniques of your position because I don't care what scheme you draw up. If you've got bad eye discipline, then cover three, cover two, cover four, man, for, it doesn't matter. None of it's going to work. We have more on Sycamore football as they prepare for the Penguins this weekend in Terre Haute. Break us down. So be sure to stay locked in right here to go sycamores.com reporting on sycamore football from good old memorial stadium i'm luke martin